it used to be uh, not, not too long ago that I could get up before a group and talk about Connecticut's economy fairly independent of what was going on in the U.S. and just say, well, you know, the U.S. economy is continuing to add 150,000 jobs a month, yada, 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 growing at 3.5%, so on and so So what's going on in Connecticut? But that's very hard to, to, to really understand the economy without understanding, understanding what's going on nationally with the economy and then trying to put Connecticut into that national perspective. Those uh, state and local governments' contributions to GDP. So what role have they played in this this about 3.5% average rate of growth for the economy since the 1950s. Uh, well, you see that, that the role of government has changed significantly over time. Uh, back during the Korean War and the war in Vietnam, the federal government played a pretty active role. It was spending a lot uh, on national defense, and that was contributing to, to economic growth back in the 50s and, and the 1960s. The buildup uh, in uh, the 1980s in the cold, during the Cold War also uh, contributed to uh, uh, the expansion of the U.S. economy and specifically it contributed to a really robust period of growth here in Connecticut because a lot of those federal dollars were spent here in Connecticut at, at companies like UTC that had military contracts with the U.S. government and electric boat. Uh, so we were making you know, lots of uh, provisions uh, for the military and, uh, and, and the Connecticut economy was really going gangbusters. And then when the Cold War ended, uh, things changed dramatically in the Connecticut economy. We couldn't depend on those federal, federal dollars and we've seen a much slower period of growth here in Connecticut uh, since then. Uh, but a state and local government picture here in Connecticut. Uh, state and local uh, finances uh, are off uh, some 11% from uh, where they were a year ago. Um, and uh, that means that, uh, that, that states and localities that don't have the luxury that the federal government does to borrow money, these state and local governments pretty much need to be able to uh, balance their budgets, and that means that if revenues shrink, they have to let workers go, and so state and local governments, in a sense, become part of the problem, not part of the solution. They're adding to the unemployment rate, adding to the drop in uh, jobs. You're getting fewer local services. Classrooms are bigger. There are fewer teachers um, out there. Um, and that's been part of the, the point of the economic stimulus plan that you saw coming out of Washington last year, right? Was to try to take up some of that slack, to try to offset uh, bo the, both what was going on in the private sector with businesses spending less and consumers spending less, but also what was going on elsewhere in the public sector with, with uh, local governments having to cut back uh, and state governments having to cut back on the provision of, of, uh, of services.